And we're back. Okay, so I got this thing on the runway. It's basically just a drop ship. The mothership section has weapons and everything. But I have these four little pods. Each one is a lander, which is equipped with suicide capabilities. So, uh, suicide yeah. Suicide is never an, an option. <laughs> Oh, the sim speed is awful. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of cleared up to about normal now. Oh, I just realized I done goofed. Alright, revert flight to vehicle assembly building. I forgot to attach two fuel lines. Gonna need those two fuel lines. Let's hope you can get to orbit without stupid. Without what? Without stupid. What do you mean? Without being stupid? Of course I can. It's me. It's me! It's the me! So you're not gonna make it to orbit then? <laughs> How come you're, you're not really playing in space? Because it's a Kerbal Airplane program? Oh, gosh! It's not... All right, let's go ahead and launch this now with these tubes. Oh, Afterburners, my favorite site in the world. Yeah. Forget, I think the server at any given time has at least like five people on it. Before it used to be like five people max would like log in, now there's like minimum of five people on it up to Highest I've seen was Whoa. maybe nine players, nine ten players in one shot. My engine's just fully revved to full afterburner. The fuck is that? Who put an Aries over there? <laughs> in the in the yes. Yeah, no, it's it's broken. I checked it out. Okay, why don't you recover it then? If you knew it was broken. Don't question my logic. There we go. Alright, so it looks like this thing's pretty stable on takeoff, which is surprising because it's ginormous and not aerodynamic whatsoever. <laughs> Throttle back a bit. I want this to be a long burn. As we drop out this weight, we weigh a lot less. And our engines allow us to speed up. So, yeah, the main mothership, Zach, has uh, four regular Gatling guns with a butt ton of ammo. They have uh, 8,000 electric charge with a laser and some regeneration on it. Um, equipped with four docking ports to dock craft, and the mothership has four regular parachutes and four drogue chutes, so I can land it on, uh, uh, like, laves and stuff like that, and then back on Kerbin if I want to. Uh, each of the probes is equipped with two parachutes and enough rocket fuel to land on moons. What are you up to? Uh, I'm just screwing around with thrust vectoring. You're going to build us finally a really competent fighter? I do have a really competent fighter. I've had one for a while. We need even more of one. There, I just made it even more competent by adding thrust vectoring. Happy? Yes. Oh, this thing wants to lean over so badly. Hopefully it doesn't take its own uh, engines out whenever it finally tilts over. Let me go ahead and give this thing a nice little lean up to about 60 degrees. Whoa, okay. Trick is keeping it here now. This thing's so agile it can do a backflip. 
It can do a backflip? Like, on an axis, it can do a backflip. But I think I'm actually going to move the wings back so it's a little more stable. Ah, oh, no. Nay. Well, I probably still have enough. I just, I just lost four full, full Kerbidine tanks worth of fuel. <laughs> I probably still have enough fuel to get this thing to orbit. But, uh, not where I want to bring it. So, uh, I'll probably skip ahead to where I'm at a roughly the same point, but I'm just going to put some Separatrons on it to, uh, make those front uh, nose cones kind of peel off a little bit. But, uh, shouldn't take me too long. There we go. Now that's how the separation is done. Okay, now there's this fucking web of satellites. I have built a strike plane that is capable of super cruise. Yeah? Yeah. It can cruise at supersonic speeds without using the afterburner. And when you go afterburner, it just gives you really good excel? Basically, yeah. Although it's only, like, barely supersonic, but it's still supersonic. Yeah. Still good. Well, I need you to make uh, some sort of tank, and then we need to make a giant uh, craft capable of dropping the tank out of the air with parachutes. Para tank. Yeah, and then once the thing's on the ground, we separate it and then rocket that piece off so that way there's no debris or anything stupid hanging off the top of the tank. There we go, YouTube. Starting my Minmus burn. It's only about a 50 second burn. Should have loads of fuel for that. Maybe not quite as much as I thought. Well, that could be a problem. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough fuel. <laughs> GG. And I'll just activate the nuclear motors. So two to shut them down? Apparently I can't shut them down. This thing is mixed up. I don't want those there. I want that there.
All right, so we're gonna decouple you. Yep. Basically, I'm gonna land this thing as close to their lander as I can, and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna walk it over with the little claws, and then I'm gonna detonate it. This is funny, I'm basically, I'm landing at, it's like pinpoint accurate, to the point where I actually have to burn a little bit off, because I'll land on top of his ship if I don't. There we go. Now, this is one for the history books. Are you in the server yet? No. Okay, well you'll have to watch this when you see the video now. Yeah. Going to crab walk this thing around. HRE is not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> it's his problem. I have this little tiny crab walking thing. I'm I'm literally right beside the craft right now. All right, gonna get as close to it as I can. All right, let's push underneath it like that. And bye bye. What? Okay. No, 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 fuck. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, come on. Fucking game.